Yeah. Not a single soul has made a comment about this stage. Uh, behind me is a log on a string um, and a ladder to nowhere. Uh, anybody else feel really unsafe or that someone's going <laughs> to climb down there at some point? Just a troop of people, maybe an experimental art show. These are the things that could happen. These are real things. I was driving over here and I saw one of those signs, you know, signs, uh, and it just said employee of the month. Sandra Lady. And I was like, you're trying way too hard to show that women work there. Come on. Like, you picked Sandra Lady? Either that office is full of no people, or it's run by aliens, because that's how... Ugh. I'm having a good day. I'm having a lovely day. Checking my notes really quick. This is the second mic. I'm going insane. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did cross country in high school. I know I looked like I'd be good at it. Was not. Uh, at no point was I good at it. Um, my favorite trick in cross country was to pull this. Uh, it's a two-step process. One, uh, you fall behind the rest of the competitors, give them an edge, and then two, get lost. And I do that uh, three times a month. I do that three times a month where you just... I don't know if you guys know what cross country is. You absolutely have no idea where you're going unless you're with a crowd. Uh, so I remember this like very vividly where uh, I, was, I was lost again, uh, miles behind. I could see them in the distance, and I was like, are you going left or right? It doesn't matter. I just want to fall over and die. Um, and uh, I got lost for two extra miles. And on the inside, I was like, that's kind of a victory, right? You ran more than the other people. <laughs> that's a solid victory. Uh, I only took cross country because uh, I auditioned for plays and didn't get in. <laughs> that's a huge level of rejection. That's a, you guys know high school theater? Anyone can do it. <laughs> you don't need to be... A saint. You don't need to be anything. Uh, my favorite part about cross country uh, was how I got out of it. Um, I, I, at this point, I've been so exhausted and tired of everything after that two, two extra two miles. Uh, I didn't warm down, and I fell asleep on the bus, and I woke up, and uh, I couldn't feel my leg, and my first thought was perfect excuse. <laughs> I didn't think of anything doctor related. I was like immediately, no, now you never have to run again. Which should worry me because I still don't run? Ugh, ugh, I don't feel good about that. Uh, language is stupid. Anyone else? Anyone else feel that language is dumb as fuck? Yeah. Um, because we can pretty much say everything with hand motions and stuff. Uh, you fall on the ground, you know it's fire. You know it's fire. I just think we've... The way I'll put it is this. Uh, I've never been like, hey, I need another word. This dictionary's too thin. <laughs> As me, who has learned all the words, I would like one more. Um, <laughs> here's some examples of words and phrases that I get fucking confused by. Uh, there's the triptych, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Uh, two of those start a conversation. One of them ends it abruptly. Uh, at no point can I wish someone good intentions past 6 p.m. It's like the lunar god above is like, uh, Phil, it's 6 p.m., you gotta say goodnight. And I'm like, I wanna start a conversation. <laughs> if I go up to someone and say goodnight, I have to immediately fall asleep prone. I don't like those conditions. Uh, <laughs> the other one is morning dew is beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's very serene, it's calm. Uh, but the second it's on a mountain, it has to be a BMX guy doing a backflip, Mountain Dew. I like words. Um, I'll tell this really quick. How much time do I have left? Does anyone want to yell it? Uh, three. Okay, chill. I have enough time. Um, so uh, I don't go to uh, clubs anymore, uh, specifically because of this one incident. Uh, what happened was, was I was invited out on a night. Uh, I had worn the clothes that I normally wear, uh, tan slacks, white shirt, normal stuff. Um, what I wasn't told was that it was goth night. I was not told. <laughs> that it was goth night. Um, I was told, to be fair, but it was just a little bit too late. I couldn't go home, I couldn't change. Um, so I show up, I'm feeling super uncomfortable, 
and uh, I started noticing that the person who invited me uh, had only invited her lady friends, and now it was ladies' night, and I was wearing a white shirt, tan slacks, it's ladies' night, I have never felt more alone in my life. Um, <laughs> I have never felt that alone. Uh, I tried to dance, I tried to make the effort, uh, it turns out every time I dance, someone's like, what's this warm bowl of pasta doing here? Uh, <laughs> super confused. So I left, I sat down. There was one boyfriend of the group. I was like, okay, I'll talk to him, we'll chit chat. He was like, what do you like? I was like, I like comedy. He was like, I know uh, women are funny, comma, but, and then have you ever gone blood red? You guys ever just gone fucking insane? You guys ever just wanted to drag someone out to an exit? Beat them up, real masculine style? Uh, I just left the conversation. At this point, I have a purse. Um, walk over, sit down, write in my journal these words, uh, wore tan slacks to goth night, crack myself up. Um, what someone else sees is a person laughing in the corner to himself on goth night, comes up to me and says, um, are you all right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, the entire culture of goth culture is based on depression. <laughs> <laughs> And I beat them out wearing no chains or black leather. <laughs> I was like, no, it's all right, I'm writing a joke, it's not a suicide note. And I shouldn't have led with that joke, that was a bad one to lead with. <laughs> all right, I'm going to end with this. Uh, my favorite comedian is Larry David, uh, the cable guy. Uh, here's his jokes. Um, I am Seinfeld! Get her done! da 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 All right, guys, I'm Phil Bender, thank you so much. Give it up for Phil Bender. Yeah.